So I have the photo here. We have overall, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven. Eleven shots total. I'm not going to use all eleven, I'm sure, but I probably will use six or seven of them at least. Guys, this is the unofficial vlog episode one. Today will kind of be me testing out kind of the format for this little series, um, which will be kind of an FPV slash third person of me working on things and taking you guys on shoots with me, kind of showing off the whole process and then some of the final shots. The idea is to bring you guys along on practically every single shoot from here on out, hopefully. So today we are at Circuit Demon. They have a absolutely beautiful red 488 Spider in. So I reached out to the guys and uh, wanted to test some footage and get some awesome shots of that thing and basically bring you guys along with me. So yeah, let's hop into the FPV. So here's the 488 Spider. Absolutely crazy. A little dirty, but nothing Photoshop won't be able to handle. Rooftop is actually pretty sick. I actually like how the roof is black. It kind of breaks up all the red. Red can kind of be a nightmare to photograph. Um, but we'll manage. I like, I love the black roof though. I feel like I should probably put the roof down, but like I, I really like the black roof. I, I like the way it breaks it up. So maybe we'll do one with, one without. See how it looks. But this thing is sick. And I am very Ferrari biased. I absolutely love Ferrari, so. There's Jeff. Say hi to say hi to YouTube. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be cross-eyed with yeah, this thing. <laughs> yeah, you gotta camera the camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> but yes, this is a Ferrari right here, and we will be shooting it. This is back here where the guys are working, just to show you guys a little bit of circuit team. And you got their dyno over here. That's where things go vroom very fast. They'll basically get your car in the dymo and get your readings and see what kind of performance you're doing. This is Matt Miller, one of the techs here. It's such a, it's such a test. Like I'm so not used to having a camera on my head, but uh, I feel like a fucking, like this? I feel like a fucking Ghostbuster right now. <laughs> Look at me looking at you. It's like a look. It's like you got a weapon. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. How are you? We're making a debut. Ooh, <laughs> Matt handles a lot of very cool projects and he makes things go very, very fast. Except for Kevin. I can't make him go any faster. Kevin can't go any faster. He's actually completely maxed out. Um, but yeah, that's Matt. Back to the Ferrari. <laughs> So yeah, basically, if you guys need performance modifications, if you guys need something fixed, these guys are absolutely fantastic. Some of you guys might have been out here already for some of their open houses and events. But yeah, so time to get the camera gear out of the car and start getting some photos of this thing. All right, so for the Ferrari, we are going to take the car outside. We were thinking about shooting it inside. Um, I did bring my strobes with me, but this is my first time using the action cam where we're shooting with the Insta360 GO 3S. And since it's my first time using it and I need to do low light tests, especially when I'm strobing, um, I don't, I think I want the test footage to kind of just be a little bit, you know, easier outside. That way you guys can really see what's going on until I dial this little camera in. Once that's dialed in, then we'll probably get into the nittier, grittier shoots and uh, actually be like lighting things and whatnot. Um, what I have in my bag here is batteries, mics. I'm going to be shooting on a Nikon Z7. Um, I have a 50 mil, a 35 mil. I don't know if I'm going to change the lenses. I'm going to be rather quick today compared to how these are normally going to go, but I might just say on the 24 to 70, I think I'll be able to get everything I need done with that. Um, the 50 millimeter, I love doing detail shots with, uh, it, 
you know little trinkets and and shift knobs and logos inside the car and whatnot sometimes you get that buttery depth of field that 1.8 or 1.4 goes um a long way now the exterior of the car i usually never take off my 24 to 70 again unless i'm doing like logos or uh, just a headlight and i really want to separate the background um i feel like you go through a phase where like you shoot everything on 1.8 1.4 and then you slowly come out of that phase and you're like oh i don't always need the background completely blown out if i was shooting portraits and stuff hell yeah like i love the separation in portraits but sometimes with cars like the location builds a lifestyle and you want to see those things i want to see what's in the background i want to see especially when i'm doing composite um i don't want a super super blurry background i'm going to go find a background on the internet to just blur out again no i, I want to work with something that's um a little bit more in focus to help build it if i'm putting a marina in the background if i'm putting an ocean in the background the sky a crazy cloud a storm mountains like i'm gonna kind of want to see those things since i'm putting those elements into it um that's just on the composite side of things i probably will grab a couple of buttery video clips i got my dji rs3 that will probably link the uh, uh camera up to just to get some buttery clips and kind of feed them in somewhere um nowadays as a photographer you kind of have to be a videographer too so i feel like at every single shoot i'm doing photos and videos no matter what um we won't be miking up the car or anything today no rollers today um we're really just kind of getting our feet wet with the fpv cam and uh figuring out what i need to do differently for the next time i go out and and really perfect this format for you guys let's get that car outside and get to work That's not quiet. No. It's pretty loud. I can't figure out how to roll down the window. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna have you back it in. You kind of see where those two marks are going? Yeah. It's gonna kind of be around there, but then I'll tweak you a little bit. Okay. Love the rear splitter in the back too with the little reverse light and everything. I have a feeling this is gonna photograph really easily. I usually, red's not the, the most fun, but I, I think this is gonna handle out the light pretty nicely. So right now we're basically just, I'm gonna dial him in to where I want him, and then we'll be good for a little bit. Right about there. Perfect. The logo, the Ferrari logo in the front's like perfect. Like you planned it. Like on, on that note also, like every single car, especially exotic cars, like they should just come with where the, the center cap just refixes itself right into the center. Right. Like, I don't know why that's not a thing on ex extremely expensive cars, but like- Just the logo, Rolls Royce. They, just Rolls Royce, <laughs> but like every logo it's should be upright. Like, right, like obviously he's an absolute parking professional. I mean, look, oh, at, the look, at, that. look at the Ferrari oh. logo here. Just look at that. It's it's like, so some people have- i tell you, I did do that on purpose. I And I believe you, some people have a knack for it, but most don't, and they're usually always upside down. We have to, as artists, flip them. And it's you gotta annoying. Jack the car up. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. Wheel. Find wheels on Google. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just want like a good front, a good rear, a couple of details, something to test this camera out, and uh, cool. get my feet wet. Basically, awesome. talking to the universe. All right, time to go get the stuff out of the back of the car, set up the camera on the tripod, and uh, get to it. Get going on the photos. I'm going to maybe just do the couple video frames that I want to do right now, which it looks like we're going to need a variable and D filter because it's too bright out. So this is going to help me just buy some stops back because on video you can't, um, you don't want to just start increasing your shutter to get the exposure back because you'll get jitters. You want to always just keep your frame rate doubled. 
on the shutter side of things. So since I'll be shooting at 30, I'm at 60, and that really doesn't buy you a lot of space as far as um, exposing correctly in like conditions like this, 10 o'clock in the morning here. Now this should help buy back some of that. You guys, I don't know, like this is what I mean about testing. Like, I don't know if you guys are just gonna see like the glare on the screen, but right there, yeah. So now when I spin this, it's basically like I'm changing my shutter, right? You've seen like the exposure really change. So that I have a good shot here. Something like that looks good. Cause I want to leave the camera like two eight. Cause like with this 24 to 70, like I want a little bit of a cinematic look. So um, I don't want to like go higher with the f-stop cause then I'm going to lose some of that blur. So yeah. This is how you achieve that a little variable ND filter. I'm using a ProMaster. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know what you guys can see because this is the first time I'm doing this, but it's a ProMaster 82 millimeter and I have a adapter on it so it fits the lens. All right, let's get this thing on the gimbal. Lock that in place. Lock that in place. Turn it on and it should be just kind of ready to go. I have it in a vertical format right now. There she is. I am going to polarize for the front and let's get a couple of video frames in. Um, since the video on YouTube, I'm normally I'll shoot these horizontally, I think, but I'm set up for work on vertical. So we'll shoot some Instagram reels here or a quick little reel. I'll add it into the YouTube video vertically like this, but uh, normally I think here I will put in some, you know, kind of smooth shots of what I'm shooting horizontally, um, since that's the format we'll be viewing it on YouTube. So. Go for a higher approach too. This will be kind of just like a arching shot. Do like a spin on this logo. Yes, it's nice. Sun keeps coming in and out. Not helpful. It's a good spin. All right, so I'm all done doing video. Um, I just wanted a couple of frames just to utilize um, for whatever, you know, some short form content, just to say we did it. I mean, the Ferrari is absolutely beautiful. It's hard not to, but I took the ND filter off. That's back in my bag, zipping this up. We have this little guy's off my camera now. He'll go back here. Um, basically gonna break down the DJI rig and then we're gonna go to a tripod and get some photos done. All right, so now we are going to go with the a tripod and go get some layering. And the reason why I'm going on a tripod is because I'm going to do bracket layers with my CPL filter. And then I'm going to do some exposures, different exposures, and then sync them all together to make sure I have the shot I'm looking for. As big as a fan I am of Ferrari, I actually haven't shot too many. There really isn't that many here in Rochester. Rochester used to have a great car scene. It still does have a good car scene. A lot of people show up to a lot of the cars and coffee events and whatnot, but uh, I mean, it could be better. It could be more cars. So we are gonna go head over to the car. Ferrari's obviously still in the same spot. Um, when I was shooting the videos, I was really liking a, an angle here. Oh, we're gonna switch into photo mode. Um, we're gonna polarize for the hood and the, the window front windshield and you can see here there's a lot of things I'm gonna have to deal with but the final photo will take care of a lot of things so rule of thirds I'm just gonna try to get that car out of the center frame something like that so this trailer and stuff I'm not too worried about it like I'm that's gonna come right out in Photoshop and I don't want to go tighter because that's not the photo I want. I want this photo and that trailer just comes into my frame a little bit and that's okay. A little bit lower, a little bit more aggressive. These can come out a tiny bit more. I see a lot of content online and it's like a lot of handheld stuff and 
the style in, in which I shoot, it's just not going to work out because I'll shoot a lot of brackets, basically. Um, hopefully the sun kind of chills out because it's jumping around like crazy. We're going to go with a warmer picture to start off with. We're going to go a little bit darker. So now, I'm going to shoot at like f7.1. We got our focus. We're going to go manual focus now. So I locked in my focus, basically. Um, the car is going to stay stationary. So now I'm going to shoot. I'm going to get an exposure for the sky. Here's probably an exposure for like the front bumper and the hood. And the, maybe the window. Let's go one more brighter for like the headlights and maybe some of the tires. Now I'm going to shift my CPL filter. So you can see, I don't know if you guys can actually see it, um, but my CPL filter there is now working, instead of working on the hood, it's working on the side of the car. I'm not changing my focus, I'm keeping my focus locked. Now I'm exposing for the side of the car. We're working over here now. I'm exposing for the side of the car. I don't know what you guys can see with the screen because of the brightness, but I'm gonna shoot one frame. I'm gonna shoot a brighter frame. This last frame is probably a little too bright, but it's probably for the dark wheels. I'm gonna shoot another really bright one of these wheels right there. The sun just went away, so I'm gonna grab, just to say I have it, I'm gonna grab one frame of the hood and then I'm gonna grab one frame of the side of the car, just so it's like I have like this smooth, very even color. So now if, when I'm in post, like if, if it matches up and it looks okay, maybe I'll take those frames, but then put them back in my sunny frames. Now it, I almost would maybe be able to cheat that I lit the car because when I actually expose and edit those overcast shots, it's gonna look pretty smooth, the reflections and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I have the photo here. We have overall, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 photos. So I'll take those photos, I'll combine them all into one and get my car layer done and get the photo ready for whatever direction I wanna take it in next. Now, what I'll probably do is, just cause one of them aren't out here with me, I will get some detail shots. I'm gonna go back into auto focusing mode. We'll get a shot of the wheel. I'll go a little bit wider here. I'm gonna go with this kind of aggressive lean. And we are gonna polarize for the side of the car. We're gonna go a little bit more shallow. We're gonna go F2.8 here, just to get a little bit more of a fall off and a blur. We're gonna go a little dark, just to make sure that we're not clipping on the windshield up top. We're gonna turn our CPL filter, another CPL filter turn for the windshield. Now we're looking at like the side window and like right by that carbon fiber little duck work there oh that works now i need a frame of the front polarized but a bright frame of the wheel i'll take that wheel and tire with me that looks great and then i think we're probably good on that that one's pretty easy so again like just thinking like a compositor like i'm already i'm already thinking in the back of my head that like I'm probably going to like remove this location just because we are in like a little bit of a time crunch and whatnot and I want it, to it's such a crazy car that I want to come away with something nice um, just make sure we're recording here still we're running out of battery um, but yeah so I want to make sure we come away with something nice still basically gonna try to do something back there either make it a little bit more tropical or um, something that's not like just a backyard of a shop for a car of this caliber maybe if it wasn't something like this you could still get you could still get a beautiful photo here with that subtly blurred like i'm not saying you can't um it, it's just personally not my style and the way i like to edit images basically so right now obviously since it's a convertible i should probably take some shots of the convertible aspect of it um i just really like the the roof but we're gonna get some shots without the roof so we're that's what we're trying to do here we're trying to get this bad boy to lift up right now it's yelling at us here we go, here we go baby it's happening right in, right in front of our eyes shout out to ferrari oh look at that 
Look at that Italian engineering. Oh, nice. And some of the black stays with us. Love it. Yes. Oh, the seats are beautiful. My God, I'm glad we're doing this. Can you imagine driving this thing with the top down? Oh, I can. Uh, I imagine it every single time I close my eyes and go to sleep. Every single time. Um, can I just get you to put the windows down? And then we're good. I don't want to be that guy though, you know? Oh, let me put the top down, but the windows up. Like, what's that? What, what is all that business? If anybody on here, on YouTube, is doing that, explain to me why you're doing that, okay? It's all usually, the way down. There we go. Hell yeah. Now we'll, I guess we're gonna get some interior detail shots because it's just begging for us to do it. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna get a couple of rear full shots, a couple of interior shots, and then we're gonna be out of these guys' hair. Um, the rear might look better than the front. I mean, holy crap, the diffuser is absolutely insane. Um, like I said too, like the two humps where the the roof went in is so sick. So we are gonna go, how about we go, yeah, let's go a little higher. That way we can see the humps. We can see that there's no roof on the car. Instead of having like the exact same shot as the other one, we're gonna shoot this one a little bit higher. We'll get some interior shots. I'm hoping I don't run out of battery on this little device. If I do, I'm gonna start bringing an external battery um, to charge it on the fly with me. That way I can record more of the shoots. But this is why I wanted to test it out. I wanted to see how much battery life it gave us, what it did in exposure, what the 4K looks like, what the sensor looks like, how it edits, and kind of learn on the fly here and just do it instead of just procrastinating and not doing it. I'm trying to adjust the tripod here. That's always super fun, but I want this high angle. This high angle is super important to me for showing off the spider aspect. So now we're up here. I think that looks high enough. Position it something like that. This is gonna scream for our location. We're gonna really show it off. So we're gonna shoot back up at like F11. Just get all that scale. I just shot the rear here and I'm gonna cycle through it. Again, pretty much the same thing. I'm shooting a bunch of frames for the side, a bunch of frames for the wheels, a bunch of frames for the, the roof here, the black, the black spot on the roof, and then like the trunk. Um, then I got a separate frame for the rear bumper, maybe a little bit brighter for that diffuser and whatnot. And I'm going to piece all that together. And again, we're working on a composite layer. So I plan to take all of this out. I'm going to move to a couple shots of the logos and in the interior. And I think we can go a little bit faster for that. Um, we don't have to really worry about compositing. I'm going to shoot it in a way so I don't have to composite the background again. So we're going to like come in tightly, not that. We're going to put focusing back on and get some frames of details. So a couple of details. I wanna get a different one of the Ferrari. Maybe something a little bit more moody. Yeah, that's nice. Like that. And you're really just kind of playing around with a ton of different little angles and seeing what works. I love this. I'm gonna work on the steering wheel there. It's gonna be a little dark. We'll see if we can buy it back a couple of frames in, or a couple of uh, stops in Photoshop. But I love having like, for this carbon fiber little here that's blurred out, kind of that texture and that, that reflection I'm getting. And then let's get a shot of these seats. All right, so we are all done. This is the little hat clip that I was using. Um, we did run out of battery, unfortunately, when I was shooting some of the interior shots. Um, obviously, next time I go out, all I got to do is bring a um, little charger with me, I guess, to keep popping it on. Also, as I go out, I won't be like trying to record everything. I'll like dial in on exactly like what I want to show you guys instead of like some of the boring parts um but over time I'll get dialed in um it's really got kind of toasty out here but yeah so now I switched over to my phone I'm just trying to get this last little bit recorded for you guys just to kind of give you guys clarity on what happened um yeah I think this will be the the format moving forward I I think it it's very um easy to do it, I already kind of think out loud to myself anyway, so this is, it feels very natural. And the camera's so small and it's on my hat that it's just like very fluent. A lot of times I struggle with like, how am I gonna do it while I'm focusing on the client? How am I gonna show them? 
um, I think this will go a long way to kind of bring you guys along on some of these shoots. And sometimes we'll jump over to the edit. Other times I'll just kind of flash you guys off um, the final shots, basically. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. I think I'm going to definitely dive into it. I'm excited to see how the footage looks on, on screen, on an actual computer screen, um, to see if it's holding up well in all the bright conditions and whatnot. I'm just have, I just have it on auto. Um, I do have ND filters coming so I can keep the exposures locked. But um, overall, I think that this is a good format. Let me know what you guys think um, about this. I think it will only get better from here as far as like what I'm looking at and where are my hands and what am I showing you guys and mixing in cool content and everything. So yeah, I'm super pumped. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.